hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to teach you how to make a boxwood greenery flower garden backdrop and you can use this backdrop for any type of event i'm going to use it for an actual baby shower for a baby girl but you can use it for weddings you can use it for baby showers you can use it for birthday parties so it definitely comes in handy so if you're interested in seeing how i make it stay tuned Okay guys, so the first step is to protect your surface that you're going to be working on because you do not want to get paint or any type of other materials um, on your surface. So as you can see, I'm laying out a painter's drop cloth that I get from Home Depot for just a couple bucks. And these actually um, will last through two or three uses. So as you can see, I've already used it previously. And so the first two materials that you're going to need are your boards that are going to serve as the backdrop. Um, you can get these cut at Home Depot, Lowe's, any hardware store will do it for you, usually free of charge. Uh, the dimensions are 40 inches wide by 80 inches long, and I will link all of this down below in the description box. You want to lay them flat on top of your painter's drop cloth or whatever protective surface you'll be working on. And so this next step is optional, but I decided to do it because I did not want the natural wood color of the board showing through. I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum 2 times Ultra Cover Paint in Hunter Green, and I'm going to just spray paint the fronts of the boards. And guys, I did run out of that hunter green, so here I am filling in the gaps with a little bit of black spray paint. You do not have to use the hunter green. Any dark color spray paint will work. I just didn't want the light natural color of the wood to shine through the boxwood panels that we're going to be putting on the boards. And the next supply we're going to use is this staple gun. I ordered mine from Amazon for about 18 bucks. It also came with the staples in it, but you can get them from your local hardware store. They shouldn't be too expensive, um, but make sure you get staples that are deep enough to penetrate the boxwood panels along with at least part of the plywood. And these are the boxwood panels. I ordered these from Amazon. I'll put the link down below. They do come with zip ties, but we won't be using them for this project. Um, we're just going to be stapling these panels to our boards. And I ordered 20 by 20 inches. If you can find 40 by 40 inches, then you'll obviously not need as many panels, but these are the 20 by 20, and that's what I'll link below for you guys. And so to attach these boxwood panels to your boards, you just want to put um, staples all around the perimeter of each panel. And I also added a couple uh, throughout the centers of the panels just uh, to make sure that they were secured down.
And guys, you want to repeat this step all the way down to the end of the board. So here I am adding my second row or my second layer of the boxwood panels. And you want to repeat these steps on both boards individually. And the next step is to spray paint your uh, name sign or your word sign. It can say whatever you want. I ordered mine off of Etsy. It is die cut from wood and I decided to spray paint mine metallic gold because that is an accent color of the baby shower that I'm going to be hosting. But you can spray paint it whatever color you want or you can leave the natural wood. Um, I've seen the wedding ones say I do or the Mr. and Mrs. Um, I've seen the baby names which is what I'm doing. But you can honestly make it say anything that you want or you don't have to put words at all is totally up to you and of course you can customize it the way you like the different fonts and also the different colors of spray paint and the next step is to lay the boards flat on the ground again and push them as close together as possible creating one seamless look and you want to add your flowers now I decided to use floral vines from Michaels I find them at Michaels but you can find them at any craft store but you can also use individual flowers and just staple them down um, individually if that's what you want I just wanted more of a bordered look around the edges and then um, later on I plan to add in just a couple of uh, individual flower buds as well around the baby name sign as well um, but again this is totally customizable it's up to your liking and because my vines weren't long enough to go around both boards as one and I wanted to be able to transport it into two parts um, I pushed the boards closer together so that I could mimic what I did on the left side on the right side with the same exact color uh, vines and in the same order and everything so it would look seamless once I push the boards together. And if you do decide to use a word or a name sign, you want to lay it out in the center exactly where you want it to hang so that you can make sure that your uh, floral design actually is even on both sides. So that's why you see the name sign laid out in the center here. But again, it's optional. You do not have to have a name sign. And also the boxwood panels, you want to take them all the way down to the bottom of the boards. As you can see here on the right side of the frame, um, they did not go all the way down at this point because I did not order enough. So I was waiting on my second order to come in. But before my event, I did add the rest of the panels going all the way down the board. And you'll see that um, in further clips.
And the next step is to hang your name sign. I use this illusion cord that I ordered off of Amazon for five or six bucks and I'll link it down below. And here is the final product, guys. This is the fully finished uh, floral garden backdrop that I designed for my brother's baby shower. You can stand in front of it and use it for photo ops. You can also put a table in front of it, which is what we did for the majority of the shower. Um, and it looks very, very nice. I, it was a ton of compliments on it. It was the hit of the party. And this cost me right around $433 to make, which was a steal in my opinion, because you can reuse it and reuse it for other events. Just pull off the floral vines and replace them with different colors. And here the backdrop is behind the dessert table at the baby shower. This is where it stayed for the majority of the shower until we decided to move the table out of the way and use the backdrop for photo opportunities, which turned out to be a great idea. The photos came out beautifully. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you are able to make it yourself. I hope I explained the steps very, very clearly for you and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.